Well, everyone, Black Knight does in one hand. We have the Dimension 4700 curbside a day later, and we're going to boot it up here. And stuff. Take my Windows XP. And here's proof that we use our, not we, I use genuine software or OS. The only thing that I don't have that's, the only thing I have that's not legitimate is Windows 2000. Yes, Windows 2000 I don't have a legitimate copy of. That's pretty much the only operating system I own. Not that I own, but operating system disk that I have that isn't legitimate. Windows Vista, 30 and 60, 32 and 64 bit. And we have Windows 98. There's Windows 7 in here somewhere. I think it's at the back. And yeah, Windows 7. We have it's an HP version, but it still works with everything else. So here we are in the BIOS now, in the setup or whatever you want to call it. Surprise! It's got the Dell. Uh, it's got all these drop-down menus here, which is different. I'm not used to that. I'm used to seeing uh, Phoenix BIOSes and memory info. We have, ooh, four gigabytes. Wow. That's interesting. It's interesting because, um, yeah, see, installed memory. It's interesting, one, because I doubt that anyone ever did any upgrades to this system at all because, well, I shouldn't say that, because the people that put this thing to the curb were smart enough to take the hard drive out of it. So maybe they upgraded the RAM. I don't know. But XP, which is what came on this machine, uh, XP Home Edition actually, can't, you know, it only supports 2 gigabytes, which is interesting. Date and time is set right. <clears throat> actually, I was pretty impressed. When I booted up the computer, everything was right. Date and time. Well, I shouldn't say that because the time was about two minutes off, three minutes off, which might not even be the computer. It's probably just the person that said it, for all I know. Um, yeah. Let's look at some stuff there. Yep. 2.8 was standard with these machines, it seems. I don't think that you could get anything higher or lower. No, 64, but that explains why. Yeah, anyways. Um, that should not be floppy drive. That should be onboard save drive. That's number one. Well, what are you doing? How do I do this? Uh, oh. I'm not used to this because I am used to Phoenix BIOSes, as I just said. Uh, what the heck am I doing? Um, how do I... More changes? There we go. Now, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Space. What? Delete. Escape to cancel modification. Oh. Save. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not very smart with these Dell systems at all. Alright. Just a bit of a ramble. Um. Oh, come on. Yep, it's got a 320 gigabyte hard drive here. It's a Samsung spin point. It's Seagate, really. Diskette drive is internal. Yep, that's on. That should be that should be off. Oh no, wait. That should be on because that's probably the DVD burner. If I had to guess. Um, normal. The hard drive controller is configured for native mode. What? Hard drive controller is configured for combination mode. Well, I, that probably doesn't apply to me because I only have a SATA hard drive. And not DVD burner, obviously. Onboard devices. Integrated NIC. Well, what? Mm, integrated audio. Yes. USB controller. Yes. Um, Serial port. Yes. 
we've got a video here, primary video. Well, yeah, I have a, there's a video card in this. It must come stock because it's got that little, um, no symbol on it. Well, I'm not going to play around with that. Power management, AC recovery. Um, auto power on. This field specifies when to use auto power time setting to turn the system on. Do not use, yeah, every day. That would be useful on something like this system because I would set it so that it would come on. Auto power time. Well, no, I don't need any of this. Maintenance. Service tag. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, event log. Yeah, we'll go here. Um, a lot of CMOS checksum errors. Someone obviously play, played with the memory because well, log area's been cleared. So, obviously whoever owned this computer was smart enough to do some stuff with it because, yeah. Fast boot, I want to turn this on because this thing is slow. OS install. This field determines the maximum amount of system memory available for to the operating system. Some operating systems will not complete installation with more than... Yeah, I already found that out anyway. Post hotkeys. Well, yeah. Leave that. Keyboard errors. Yeah, report. Um, I think that's it. Save and exit. Yep. Okay. We'll see if we can get this to boot up into Windows XP. Wow, it's already a lot faster. Yeah, that's that's really fast, actually. But now it is. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Yep, start Windows normally, please. Probably because I held the power button last time. What are you doing? Yeah, start Windows normally. Please. Let me, it's going to show me the Dell logo again. Why wouldn't it? What did I do this time? I'll try and turn quick boot off and see what happens. Post behavior, is that it? Yeah, fast boot. I'll turn that off. Escape, save and exit, please. It's not that slow, I guess, but it is pretty slow actually. Compared to, you know, most systems just posting. It takes about as long as Windows XP to boot up. Why why are you doing this, Dell? Why officially the Dell from hell? I'll enter setup, turn fast boot back on, and take power away from the computer here. It's pretty obvious it needs to be done. Come on, you can do it, Dell. You can do it. Alright, well, we'll go down here to post behavior. Turn fast boot back on. On, 
exit, uh, save and exit. It's a bit of a scar going on in my knee from burning myself. It's a marshmallow roaster, a metal one. Alright. Uh, I can't go with my toe. Okay. Try this again. Wow, it's already got 10 minutes. The first part's even longer because I'm vacuuming. Or no, I'm not. I don't think I am in the first part. Let's see what happens. Of course it reboots. Why? What is it doing? I don't understand. Oh, finally. It's about time. But ready to put it back to the curve where it came from. <laughs> if it's telling me that the recommended settings are like that, then why isn't it working like it's supposed to? Ah, there it is. That's why. That's pretty small, but I think I can deal with it. Although icons need to be bigger. Can I do that? <laughs> Turn off show desk of icons. Heh. Arrange, no. Arrange icons. Show desktop icons. Why can't I make them bigger? <laughs> I thought that was a thing. Oh, desktop maybe? No. Yes, all these need to be on. Or else I might drive myself crazy okay I do like this I like the bliss photo but I do like this even better for some reason all right so oh yes device manager we'll go to the dreaded device manager oh you can't do that in here for all you have to actually Go to control panel, to system, to hardware, to device manager. I almost forgot to do that. <coughs> yeah, so the... This thing in my bobby already failed. I wonder what... I wonder what... Yeah. Anyways... That's pretty much all for this video. You've seen it working. It needs to be fixed up a little bit with drivers. I might do a little update video on the Dell here. in, you know, maybe on the weekend here. If I work on it a little bit more. Anyways, that's all for now. And I've got to go clean the window. And probably take this thing outside and use the air compressor on it. But yeah, anyways.